I love ice cream. Ice cream is probably my favorite thing to eat on a hot sunny day. And right near my house, there's an ice cream store that I go to all the time. My favorite thing about this store is that every Sunday they have a sale. At this sale, you can get a two scoop ice cream cone for only $2. The only problem is I can never decide which flavors I want. I walk into the store and there seem to be infinite choices. Every week, I try and order a different cone than before. But that got me wondering, how many different options are there? This is your challenge for today. Help me figure out how many different combinations of ice cream cones I could make. Now step one, for today's challenge, all you will need is a pencil and a piece of scratch paper. When you have these materials, click continue. Step two, let's go over the directions. Remember that there are exactly two scoops of ice cream on each cone. These scoops can be either the same flavor or they can be different flavors. So for example, if my store only had one flavor, let's say only vanilla, then my only option would be to have this cone with two scoops of vanilla. There would be only one possible cone. So if I had only one flavor at my store, there's only one possible cone. But what if my store had two flavors? Let's think about vanilla and chocolate. Well, I would have more options now. I could have a cone with two scoops of vanilla, a cone with two scoops of chocolate, or a cone with one scoop of vanilla and one scoop of chocolate. Notice in this last cone, it doesn't matter whether the vanilla or chocolate is on top. The order doesn't matter. So for two flavors of ice cream, there are three possible cones. Now that you have the hang of things, you're ready to start the challenge. If you have any questions, ask them now. Then click continue to see your challenge. Step three, here's your challenge. Figure out how many different cones there would be if my store had 10 flavors of ice cream. You can solve this using any strategy you would like, but make sure to show your work on scratch paper. Keep working until your teacher tells you to stop, then click continue. Step four, now that you've worked on this on your own, take your paper and get in a group of four people. When you're in your group, click continue. Step five, take time to discuss these three questions as a group. When you finish discussing, click continue. Step six, now discuss these same questions as a class. When you're finished discussing, click continue. Step seven, let's recap this problem. Now I'm not sure how you solved this problem, but I'm gonna show you one way that you could have approached it. I made a table where I could keep track of the number of flavors and the number of cones that were possible. I remembered that when there was only one flavor, there would be only one possible cone. I also remembered that if there were two flavors, there would be three possible cones. Then I thought about what would happen with three flavors. Now there were going to be more combinations, so I needed to stay organized. I started by thinking of all the possible cones with vanilla on the bottom. I could have vanilla vanilla, I could have vanilla chocolate, or I could have vanilla strawberry. That's all I could do with vanilla on the bottom. So then I moved on to chocolate. Well, I already had vanilla and chocolate together, so I can't do that one again. But I could do a chocolate chocolate, and I could do a chocolate strawberry. Now that's all for chocolate, so I moved on to strawberry on the bottom. Now I already had strawberry with vanilla and with chocolate, so the only combination left was strawberry strawberry. And that's it. These are all of the possible cones I could make with three flavors. So three flavors gives me six cones. Then I repeated the same process, but with four flavors. After I checked all the possible combinations, I found that there were 10 possible cones. Then I stopped. I started looking at the numbers in my chart and I noticed something. What I noticed was that the number of possible cones increased first plus two, then plus three, then plus four. And I wondered to myself, would the next jump be plus five? I decided to test it out. 
I checked five flavors using the same process to stay organized as before, and I found that there are 15 possible cones, which is exactly plus five. Now I felt pretty confident that I'd found a pattern. When I had six flavors, I would just have to add six. There would be 21. For seven flavors, I would just add seven, giving me 28. For eight flavors, add eight to get 36. Nine flavors, I would add nine to get 45. And for 10 flavors, I just add 10 more to get 55 possible cones. I found my answer of 55. Now this wasn't the only way you could have found the answer, but hopefully it shows you one way that you could have arrived at the solution, that if there are 10 different flavors of ice cream, you can make 55 possible cones with two scoops. And that's all for today's challenge. If you attempted the bonus, you could have used the same strategy I showed to find that there are 1,485 possible cones if you're like Ben and Jerry's and have 54 different ice cream flavors. That's all for today, and stay tuned for next time.